Our life is what our thoughts make it. These wise words from Marcus Aurelius serve as a timeless reminder of the power within our minds. This isn't just about being an optimist. It's about understanding that our thoughts, both positive and negative, shape the reality we live in. Imagine your mind as a sculptor, chiseling away at the raw marble of reality. Each thought is a stroke of the chisel, subtly shaping and refining your world. Positive thoughts carve out a reality of opportunity, growth, and success. On the other hand, negative thoughts chip away at this potential, leaving behind a reality marked by fear, doubt, and stagnation. The power of the mind is not to be underestimated. It is the guiding force behind every decision we make, every action we take. A positive mindset is the cornerstone of achievement, the foundation upon which we build our lives. Remember, your mind is a powerful tool. Use it wisely. The only thing standing between you and your goal is the story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. David Goggins. Challenges, obstacles, barriers, roadblocks. Call them what you will, but they're a part of life. They're inevitable, unavoidable, but most importantly, they're surmountable. It's how we face them that defines us. Take David Goggins, for instance. Born in poverty and plagued by health issues, he overcame countless obstacles to become an ultra-athlete and a Navy SEAL. He didn't let his past define his future. Instead, he used his challenges as stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. He transformed his pain into power, his fear into fuel. Goggins' journey wasn't easy. He wasn't gifted with exceptional strength or speed. What he had was an unwavering will, a fierce determination, and an unquenchable thirst to be the best version of himself. He pushed his body to its limits and then pushed some more. He refused to give up to give in no matter how hard things got. But why? Why did he put himself through such grueling trials? The answer is simple. Goggins understood that growth doesn't happen in comfort zones. Gold isn't found on the surface, it's discovered by digging deep. Similarly, true strength isn't physical, it's mental. It's the ability to keep going when everything in you screams to stop. Goggins once said, The mind is the most powerful tool we have, it can either be our biggest ally, or our worst enemy. He chose to make his mind his ally, to use it to conquer his challenges, not be conquered by them. So, what's your story? What challenges are you facing? How are you choosing to deal with them? Remember, you have the power to write your own narrative. You can either let your challenges define you, or you can define them. Resilience is not just about weathering the storm, it's about learning to dance in the rain. Persistence is not just about staying the course, it's about enjoying the journey. Challenges are not stop signs, they are guidelines. Don't let them stop you. Embrace them, overcome them, and let them lead you to your best self. Being strict with yourself, not just wanting something is what makes your dreams come true. Andrew Tate. Think of someone shooting an arrow, the arrow is ready, the bow is pulled back and their eye is on the target. It's not how much they want to hit the target that matters, but how much they've practiced. This is the same in life. Our goals and dreams are the targets. Strict with ourselves helps us reach them. Being strict with ourselves is what makes us successful. It's about sticking to your goals, not giving up, and keeping on going even when things get hard. It's about getting up early in the morning when everyone else is still asleep and doing the work while others are still dreaming. Wanting something is the spark that starts our ambition but being strict with ourselves keeps that ambition strong. Wanting something can come and go, but being strict with ourselves stays the same. It's what keeps us on track when we feel like giving up, being lazy or doubting ourselves. The Roman Emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, You have control over your mind, not what happens outside, understand this and you'll find strength. Being strict with ourselves lets us use this control. It helps us decide what to do, how to act, and where to put our energy. David Goggins, known as the toughest man alive, shows us the power of being strict with ourselves. He went from being unhappy and overweight to a top athlete and Navy SEAL just by being strict with himself. His story shows us that being strict with ourselves can make ordinary people do incredible things. So how do we get strict with ourselves? By taking small steps towards our goals, by choosing the hard way not because it's easy but because it's tough, by saying I will instead of I can't. Remember, being strict with yourself isn't something you get to and stop, it's a journey. It's not something you can do overnight, it's a habit you build over time. Being strict with yourself is the bridge between goals and achievements. And it's up to you to cross that bridge. So take that first step today and every day after that. Your dreams are waiting for you. Scene script, you are the master of your destiny. You can influence, direct and control your own environment. 
you can make your life what you want it to be. Marcus Aurelius, self-belief, a term that you've probably heard countless times, but have you ever really stopped to consider its true power? It's more than just a buzzword. It's the driving force behind every success story. It's the catalyst that turns ordinary individuals into extraordinary achievers. It's the magic ingredient that transforms dreams into reality. Imagine a ship setting sail without a determined destination, aimlessly wandering the vast ocean. That's what life is like without self-belief. You can have all the resources, all the knowledge, all the skills, but if you lack belief in your own capabilities, you'll find yourself drifting aimlessly, never reaching the shores of success. It's not about arrogance or overconfidence. It's about understanding your worth, recognizing your potential, and having the courage to chase your dreams, no matter how big or small. It's about looking into the mirror and seeing not just who you are, but who you could become. Remember Andrew Tate, four-time world kickboxing champion? He once said, confidence is not, they will like me. Confidence is, I'll be fine if they don't. That's the power of self-belief. It's knowing that you'll be okay, regardless of the outcome. Now let's talk about David Goggins, the man who went from weighing 300 pounds to becoming the only person to complete elite training as a Navy SEAL, Army Ranger, and Air Force Tactical Air Controller. He didn't have an easy start. He had to overcome numerous obstacles. But he believed in himself, in his ability to change, to grow, to push beyond his limitations. Self-belief acts as the fuel that powers your journey towards your goals. It's the unwavering faith that you can overcome any obstacle, that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. It's the conviction that you are capable, that you are worthy, that you are enough. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. Believe in your power. Believe in your journey. Believe in your destiny. Because the moment you start believing in yourself, the world will start believing in you. Stop thinking, start doing. These words, straight from the mouth of Andrew Tate, embody the essence of this chapter. It's all about taking action. In our journey towards becoming the best versions of ourselves, we often stumble upon the roadblocks of procrastination and overthinking. These are two of the most formidable adversaries we face, and they are often self-created. They lurk in the shadows of our minds, waiting to pounce at the first sign of hesitation or doubt. Procrastination is the thief of time. It robs us of the precious moments we could be using to move forward, to make progress, to climb the ladder of success. Overthinking, on the other hand, is like a hamster on a wheel, running in circles but getting nowhere. It consumes our energy, dilutes our focus, and paralyzes our ability to make decisions. But here's the thing, success doesn't come to those who wait. It doesn't come to those who overanalyze every little detail, it comes to those who take action. As the great Marcus Aurelius once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Think about it. Every successful person you know, every wealthy individual, every disciplined individual, they didn't get there by sitting around. They didn't get there by overthinking. They took action. They made decisions. They took risks. They faced their fears and they moved forward. David Goggins, a man known for his incredible mental and physical resilience once said, you have to do something you hate every day just for the sake of overcoming it. This is the essence of taking action. It's about pushing through the discomfort, the uncertainty, the fear, and doing what needs to be done. So, if there's one thing you take away from this chapter, let it be this. Stop thinking, start doing. Take that step, make that decision, face that fear. Because action, my friends, is the foundational key to all success. Let's recap on what we've discussed today. We've journeyed through the remarkable power of the mind, understanding its influence in shaping our reality. We've explored the importance of overcoming challenges, recognizing that each struggle is a stepping stone to our success. We've underscored the value of discipline, a crucial ingredient in the recipe for success. Without discipline, talent and ambition are merely potentials that remain untapped. We've delved into the power of self-belief, the fuel that propels us towards our goals, even when the odds seem stacked against us. And finally, We've highlighted the importance of taking action, because without it, all the planning and preparation would be for naught. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. Embrace challenges, be disciplined, believe in yourself, and most importantly, take action. Your journey to success starts now.